Welcome to our Open House 2022. My name is Steffen Schmidt, and I'm delighted to welcome you here today. This year, we decided to host the Open House as a live event, as an online live stream event. It is a first step into normalcy and first step into real world live events. We are pleased that over almost 700 appli applications came in today f to participate in our open house event. Speaking of events, we will have a real life event this year. The Apply and Innovate in September. It will take, in Karls it will take place in Karlsruhe with a real audience. And I would like to invite you to this event today already. You can present your successfully implemented projects there. Those who do not know the event yet, the Apply and Innovate is an international technology conference. It is a user's conference. It presents pioneering and innovative technologies, tendencies or trends and projects. It is the ideal platform to exchange new information on vehicle development. And it is also a great networking platform. The event is called Applied Innovate for a reason, because innovation is what drives us and what has been driving us for 38 years now, when our company was founded. And we are very honored that this innovative power was recognized this year. For the first time, we participated in the German innovation competition top 100, and we rank amongst the top 100 companies. We are part of the most innovative SMEs in Germany. And we are very pleased to have received this seal. It confirms that our solutions are trailblazing. And of course, this motivates us to develop in future solutions for our customers. We are well prepared for future challenges. For example, in testing, the development and validation of autonomous driving. Autonomous driving is the mega trend in the automotive industry, and this will stay this way for the following years and decades to come. What you can see here is a McKinsey study. It shows different scenarios how the market might develop in the future for autonomous driving. In 2020, the share of sold vehicles with driving functions of level 2 plus was about 24%. Now the question is, how will this share, what will this share look like in 2030? You can see different scenarios here. The most optimistic scenario describes that 75% of the vehicles sold in 2030 will have level two driving functions or even above. based on the great client's interest and that the technology will be available at an early point in time. The most conservative scenario shows 43% of vehicles that will have a driving functions of level two or above. This is the case if clients would not be that much interested in that technology and a late availability of the technology as well. No matter what the future holds, one thing is clear. The systems need to be developed, tested, and validated.
And this efficient development, test, and validation, those are the great challenges that we are facing right now in the automotive industry with OEMs, with tier one suppliers as well. And so it is very clear that simulation is crucial to be able to master this task. The good news is the next innovation leap in virtual vehicle development, we call it the next S-curve, is well underway. The difference in this S-curve compared to other S-curves that we faced before is that the focus is lying on software. But what does this S-curve look like? For once, we have virtual prototypes. We have full vehicle virtual prototypes that are built centrally, managed centrally, and should be available to all project participants, even across companies. Of course, analogously to the real prototype, and secondly, the virtual prototypes will be used to make development, test, and validation of software more efficiently. With our solutions, we support you and help you to master the S-curve and to efficiently develop software-defined vehicles of the future. Following the great example of Tesla, more and more OEMs want to update vehicles in, on the road via over-the-air uh, via, via over updates, four times or more a year even. What does this mean? The validation time is very limited. The great thing about our technology is that it can be applied to the traditional established vehicle development. It can be applied across all development st stages from model to software to vehicle in the loop. And because of its unique architecture, the multiple interfaces and functionalities, this technology can be used to develop the new software-defined vehicle of tomorrow. One example would be to drive millions of test kilometers in the cloud to ensure functional safety of vehicles. Our goal is to support you with our technology to efficiently validate over-the-air software updates and to implement them safely in all vehicles. Our new CarMaker 11 will contribute greatly to this. What can you expect? A more powerful parallelization more realistic sensor models, and an advanced photorealistic visualization are just some examples. Also, complex traffic situations can be modeled, and industry standards, such as Open Scenario and Open Drive, are also supported. P to put it in a nutshell, CarMaker 11 will help you to virtualize even more efficiently. The details on the new functions and new products will be made ava available to you today during the sessions. The goal of this year's open house is to show and provide solutions and approaches 
to master the software-defined vehicle. The four sessions look at workflows in virtual vehicle development and how to make those workflows more efficient. During the sessions, you have the option to ask your questions in the text chat box, and our experts will answer them. During the breaks, our speakers will be available in the breakout rooms and will answer your questions there. To be able for you to network, you can use the chat function or meet in the free breakout rooms. As you can see, an interesting and entertaining day awaits you. <laughs>